Warning for headphone users, I scream a lot. So here's what happened. I have a pretty intense and stressful day at school. My friend on the train was telling me a new poster just dropped for Avengers Endgame. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I get home and I haven't had data all day. And like five friends have just messaged me like 14 times. There's a new Avengers Endgame trailer out. So this is why there's a really random background behind me. This is very impromptu filming. I'm about to react to this trailer and you guys are probably about to laugh at how ridiculous I am when I react to trailers because I am... <laughs> Got my healthy snack of raisins to watch with this. <sighs> I'm ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Whatever it takes. Watch the brand new trailer for Marvel Studios Endgame in theaters April 26th. I'm gonna run it all through um, and just react and then I'm gonna break it down a little bit more. Yeah, it seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. The world has changed. Let's replay and unpack. Became Iron Man. So this stuff is interesting. There's old footage of, you know, Iron Man, you know, Afghanistan when he was building the first Iron Man suit. But this voiceover is definitely new. Realized I loved you. You know what? I don't know how I feel about pepperoni. I'm interested to see what direction they're going to take pepperoni in. And we haven't seen whether pepper's been dusted or not. So, we don't know. I know I said no more surprises. That's a reference to Infinity War. That's right at the start of the film when they're jogging together. He says, oh, I should promise you there's no more surprises. Then Stephen Strange steps out like, hi, I'm Stephen Strange. Oh, so I've got the subtitles on and it says Peggy Carter saying that. Peggy dies. How is she, how is she saying that? And they're recurring some of the shots from that 30 second sting. Except this shot is very similar to the one they used in the 30 second trailer, but like a slightly different perspective. So it's Clint like in a, in a big field, teaching his daughter how to shoot a bow and arrow. Ah, so I guess that's sort of flashback shot. What does that mean? Start over. But we see the shot of Clint and Natasha holding hands, which is cute. But it means, I guess it means that they've teamed up with Ronan. Harry Peggy's casket. I keep dropping my raisins. There's Thor. Everyone dying. Move on. So it was Steve's voice in the 30 second ad. Okay. I don't know what's going on with Natasha's hair. I feel like it's some sort of timestamp. Because why does she keep dyeing it? Oh, you got some box dye. Carol, come do my hair for me. Like, I wish. I would love that. But I really don't think they're going to include that in Endgame. Her hair was this length in Infinity War. It was all blonde. 
but before that it was red hair. As it's grown, the bottoms have stayed blonde-ish, but the rest has washed and grown out, so it's gone back to red, which means a lot of time has passed. Banana, Scott Lang, looking at a bunch of missing posters, like, all over this street lamp. I think there's a small chance. Here is the Quinjet flying across some big bridge in New York. <laughs> Assuming it's New York, because everything that happens in the superhero world happens in New York. Ah, this shot I was so excited to see. There's a um, war machine looking pretty ready for action, and Rocket hanging off his shoulder with his gun cocked, and he looks ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, finish these. I'm, I'm stressed eating. Oh, here we go. A good look at Clint's new hair. It actually looks kind of fresh, I've gotta say. There's Nebula, and I got so excited about seeing her because it's new footage of her. She looks ready to fight, ready to become a hero. And I'm actually really excited to see what they do with Nebula. I think she has a lot of potential. Ooh! Clint's got some new things on his bow, and I don't know any terminology. This shot made me scream! His face! What happened? It's so mud covered! And he looks angry! What happened? And then we see Scott, really tiny, leaping around stuff, but there's like destruction everywhere and flames and things. <laughs> I kind of thought those those weird like white, red, uh, black suits for that they said were like for time travel. I thought that they were uh, <coughs> a joke. I gotta say they look better on screen, but on the dolls they looked awful. When did they have the time to like 3D print some new costumes? It, it really feels like they've just been waiting around at the compound. And my boy Tony is in space. Past me was not aware, but Tony is about to show up in this trailer. So, excuse my raging, I had no idea. Extra warning for headphone users, there's more screaming. And that. Oh my god! 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 Oh so happy. Oh, it's been so long. Like the, the mental turmoil I've been in, thinking Tony was just gonna die up in space, but he's made it back! Okay, I think I can continue. Who is that though? Oh, I bet that's Bruce. <laughs> His face is just obscured by Natasha. <laughs> he's completely irrelevant in this movie. <laughs> So I saw Captain Marvel, when did I see it? Last weekend! <laughs> and she's my new favourite heroine of all time. Oh, look at this shot though, look at the way Thor's grinning at her! Because we see him being so sad in all the other trailers. Does he mean like, 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 like? I would dig that relationship. Like the two most powerful beings of the universe who have destroyed millions, just bonding over the death of all their family and friends. <laughs> You know what? That was a lot of new content, and I am going to go away now and unpack that in my mind and scream a little more. But you guys do not need to see that. So I hope you all have a lovely day. I hope you're as pumped for Endgame as I am, and I will see you some other time. Goodbye.